Hi guys, I'm Shaina and welcome back to Flatbox channel and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco Season 8. So again, if you're new to our channel, maybe you could support us by hitting that subscribe button and also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the notification bell. So you'll be updated whenever we posted a new video here. And guys, thank you for supporting me since day one. And I'm very proud to say that this is now a part 18 of my season 8 journey series. Thank you so much for supporting me. And thank you guys for appreciating my last video about my demo on VLAN topic. Since most of you enjoyed watching that video, I decided to make a part 2 of my lab demo configuration but this time I decided to use the static and dynamic NAT configuration so far after a week of review. I think guys this is one of the easiest configuration that you can encounter on your CCNA review. Static and dynamic NAT. I found the topic easy guys so I decided to use the topic for my lab demo today. Okay, so what are we waiting for guys? Let's start the lab demonstration. Alright guys, so this is the static and dynamic NAT configuration from Blackbox Lab Exercise as you can see on your screen. You can download it freely, just check the link on the description below. And I really really found the commands here um, very easy to remember. So I hope you're gonna enjoy watching this video. So NAT configuration lab exercise. In this lab, you will configure static and dynamic network address translation and port address translation. But we will not do the path. So the case here is the router servers and bits have been configured with their network addressing setting. R1 is the one edge router at your company it has a default route pointing to the service provider router sp1 and the case is we have bought the range of public ip addresses 203.0.113.0 um subnet mask 28 and 203.0.113.1 is assigned to the service provider default gateway sp1 and dot one one three dot two is assigned to the internet facing f0 slash zero interface on your router r1 and then the dot three to dot 14 are our remaining available public ip addresses and this is now our lab topology guys so sp1 it has an ip address of two zero 3.0.113.1 for the default gateway and then that to uh, assign to the internet facing f0 slash 0 let's do this guys open the NAT configuration.pkt file I already opened it here on our packet tracer. Int S1 is your company's web server. It must be reachable from external customer browsing the internet. Configure NAT on R1 so that external customer can reach the server using the public IP address. What we will do here is let's go to R1. CLI. This is our R1. And then con big t okay. int f zero slash zero and the command that we will use here guys very easy to remember ip not outside and the next thing here is we'll configure f zero slash one interface facing int s1 as a not inside interface so on big t int f0 slash 1 and ip not inside okay. and then we will configure 
a static NAT rule mapping the inside local address 10.0.1.10 to the global IP address 203.0.113.3. So the command here is let's exit. We are still on R1 IP NAT inside source static 10. That zero that one that ten space two zero three dot zero dot one one three dot three. I hope it will work. Okay, number two guys. Ping external server one from internal server one to check the NAT rule is working and you have connectivity. So we will go to internal server one and we will ping external server one here and go to command prompt and let's ping 203.0.113.20 mm, let's check it guys pinging mm, request time out So we receive one only. We have uh, three lost. Well, let's try it again. Ping 203.0.113.20. All right. So before we have <laughs> we have three lost, but now as you can see, we tried it again. So zero percent loss. For the second ping, wow. I think they are still refreshing their connection. We have verified that they have connectivity. So let's go to number three. On external server one, click on desktop. Then open web browser, open the natted public IP address of int. Uh, internal server one. Okay. So maybe let's just copy this. Let's copy this and okay external server one desktop web browser url https 203.0.113.3 go welcome to cisco packet tracer all right so we have verified that they can reach the IP address 203.0.113.3 Number 4, verify the connection appears in the translation table So, in order to verify that um, We just um, <coughs> use the command IPNAT translation So, let's go back to our packet tracer And the R1 Show IPNAT translation all right so the result is here so this is now our result outside local so that is how easy to configure the static nut let's go to the dynamic nut guys so the second exercise here is the dynamic nut configure nut on r1 so that pieces in the 10.0.2.0 slash 24 subnet have connectivity to external networks on the first come first serve basis so we will assign global addresses from the range 113.4 to 113.12 do not enable port address translation now what we will do is we will configure the pool of global addresses we are still on r1 and config t so ip not pool maybe we can do my name shine 203.0.113.4 up to 203.0.113.12 oh sorry so incomplete guys we forgot the net mask of 
255.255.255.240 All right, um, we will need to create an access list so access list access list one permit ten dot zero dot two dot zero zero dot zero our wild card dot two five five let's enter it okay so we will go now to number six turn on not debugging on r1 okay ping external server one from pc1 with the debug output on r1 you see the not entries for the five pings which global address was pc1 translated to so in order to do that let's go back to our r1 okay and we will exit exit and debug ip not ip not debugging is on and we will go to our pc1 pc1 okay, this is our pc1 let's go to command prompt and we will ping 203.0.1.1 okay so it says here that we should see not entries let's wait for it so it didn't ping guys if we did something different here um, let's check it again i think we forgot here to ip not inside source list we forgot to associate the access list with the NAT pool to complete our configuration one pool shine ip not inside source list one pool shine all right we forgot to do it guys um let's go back again to pc1 okay and let's ping again it's still error i don't know what we did differently here um let's go back okay let's repeat it again guys exit on r1 let's open r1 again int f0 slash 0 ip not outside exit and int f0 slash f1 slash zero okay and ip not inside okay and then ip not pool shine 203.0.113.4 net mask 255.255.255.240 and access list one permit 10.0.2.0 .0 0 space 0 .0 0 0 0.0.255 okay and ip not inside source list one pool shine okay guys so i hope it will work this time and then exit debug ip not and then we will go again to pc1 okay and let's ping 203 that 0 
Alright, so we have received 3 and 1 loss at this time. Let's try it again. Alright, at the second ping is we received all of the uh, packets and we have 0 lost. And then when we go back to R1, here we see the debugging logs. So that 4. It's a global IP address where PC1 was translated to. Okay, and then number 7, guys. The situation, verify the ping connection appears in the NAT translation table. So, we will go back to the R1. And we will go to show IP NAT translation. Inside global.3, inside local dot one dot ten we will stop from here that's what happened to my configuration i think i still need a further review on this one we'll stop here from seven i just want to show you the result of my configuration and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned a lot from my mistake guys Thank you so much for watching my video until the end. I hope you learned from my mistake and I showed you my mistake at this time. I still need to do a review of this topic. But I enjoyed guys doing the lab configuration. There's no really... Uh, we can't really perfect the exercises at first try. That's why we need to do more practice. So that's what I will do guys. I need to do more practice so guys if you enjoyed this video i hope i can get a like from you and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also feel free to follow us on our social media accounts all the links to our social media accounts are on the description below and also don't forget to connect with me on my linkedin here's my linkedin connect with me and i will also connect with you Please invite your colleagues to join or subscribe to our YouTube channel and I hope that we could reach the 35k subscribers by next week. And also don't forget to download the lab exercise guide for free. The link to that is also on the description below. And what else that I want to say here guys is see you on my next vlog. See you on my next video.